Hi Water Signs, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Thanks so much for tuning in to your weekly tarot reading with me. I will be using a couple of decks to see what messages are coming up for you for the week ahead, what cards want to pop out, and anything we can learn, any sort of advice um, that the universe wants to deliver to us in this upcoming week. So thanks for being here. Let's pull out a card um, just to see what the theme is for you for the upcoming week. And then we'll lay out a few more cards um, for you as well. Okay, water signs. Okay, you've got um, divination. So this is all about divine timing. This is all about spirit, God, the universe, law of attraction. You know, we can put any label on it. Um, it really says that something divine is happening in your life, okay, especially in your love life this coming week. Um, divination means like the universe is pointing you to a certain connection or the universe is pointing you to a certain person so i feel like this could be quite transformational because a lot of you may hear from the people you're supposed to be hearing from or the things that are occurring in your relationships it's almost like divine timing it's meant to be if you believe in these sorts of things of predestination then you could very well expect them in this upcoming week I've got the little crescent moons here, so this can be for cancer energy. Um, but, you know, you've got this, like, angelic priestess here. Now, the angel wings can represent an air sign, so a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We've got the moon, so for some of you, it can be a cancer, destined cancer that's coming in. Um, but it's like divine help or divine guidance. The universe is on your side, and the universe is backing a connection, uh, is what I'm getting from this. But when things are divine, they're meant for us. Um... But I also feel like because she's got angel wings, angels are symbols of messengers. So there is a lot of communication, okay, or a lot more communication coming in than you're used to between yourself and your person. Okay, Cancer. Uh, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios, I think at this stage you are dealing, possibly dealing with a... Um, Capricorn um, but I want to say you are water signs what I'm seeing in the cards here is that there's something that you're still attached to with the devil card or there's a relationship that's very push and pull okay the devil card is, is testing you okay so it's a test but it's also obsession now I don't know what's happened here on the side of water signs you may have sort of hid something or kept something and you're sort of trying to go on with your life with the page of wands and the world card you're keeping an open mind and your perception hasn't faltered it hasn't changed but somehow you're still linked to someone here and the universe the world could bring you back with this person so for some of you it could be an ex or someone that you were very attached to you had great chemistry you had there was a lot of lust there was a lot of infatuation um but water signs this could also be like a passion that's being ignited and for some of you i feel like um you might be meeting someone new the page of ones is a bit of a flirt here so there's a new flirtation it may happen online with the world card or it could be from someone from a different nationality or background to you and what could start off physical okay was just for a little bit of fun could develop into something much more uh, bigger much more meaningful and i think that's the divination that's talking to you so because the page of ones can represent new energy um, and it is fire energy so that's attraction i feel like there is a new connection a faded new connection around you um water signs um and you know you're super attracted to this person they're new they're exciting um maybe a part of you wants to let go of maybe a troubled relationship or someone from your past you know you're over this person you want to move on um you've, you've you've dealt with that already and here you are welcoming in this brand new connection that the universe is sending you so for a lot of you there is a big change happening this week in terms of of your love life uh, but for others i do feel seeing the angel and the devil here this is about you could expect some really wonderful times in a connection but you could all also expect some tough times because you have the angel and the devil and they're opposites okay the devil is the adversary so i get the sense that there is a few challenges coming up here um and I think with the world card overall to see this is a, a laurel wreath of victory and it's a symbol of accomplishing something but earning that accomplishment through working through challenges. So it's almost like you have to earn your way back into someone's life or they have to earn their way back into your life. Maybe through trust, maybe through respect, maybe through an apology, whatever the methods are. Um, 
it's the only way of completing a cycle, so to speak. And I think seeing that in the cards, there's been some toxicness that's has, that has happened and it may spill into this week. Um, and it could be like cheating. It could be sleeping around. It could be showing other people interest. It could be addictions. You know, the devil can represent all sorts of darker things like addictions or troublesome energy. So it really just depends where that fits into your connection. But I see that resurfacing again. Now, if you truly believe that someone here is meant for you, um, that they're your divine path, they're your soulmate, they're the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, or they're the person that brings out the best in you, they give you that wonderful energy in living life and um, exploring love, then you'll go after it. You'll, you'll still have that passion with the Page of Wands. But if you feel like you're done with it, water signs, this is probably the best time to detach because you do have new attractions coming in. And if you're looking for that opportunity to detach from that ex or that person that you can no longer be committed to, then this would probably be the best time to do it. I do want to mention as a disclaimer here, this new love or this, this spark, this attraction can also be finding that with a past love as well, someone that you're still attached to. I think in some ways this person is possibly still attached to you. Um, you may be in communication with this person. So for some, it's like a toxic ex or someone that, wow, it's just been a really intense relationship with and there is still communication coming. Um, maybe there's not so much a reconciliation in the cards per se, but the divination uh, priestess, which represents communication, can indicate that you try to work through things together. Um, maybe you need closure. Maybe you need to explain yourself. Whatever it is that needs to happen, maybe this is the week that that sort of energy presents itself. Those sort of opportunities, I should say, um, present themselves. But there's a lot of activity, I feel, uh, water signs. Page of Wands is, is a doer. He goes out there, he does things, he sees things. So for a lot of you water signs, I feel like the dating game is kicking up, especially if you're single or you're searching or, you know, you want to move on from this person. This is the week to do that. Um... But it's also the week, like I said, I feel like it's a make or break scenario. So if it works, great. If it doesn't, then maybe it's just not meant to be. And you know, that's that's doesn't mean it's forever. But for now, I feel like with the world card, you you either want to get out there and you want to um, show the world a new you and, and get to know new people and new connections and, and flirt with other people maybe and you know, if that's what your heart is wanting, that's what your heart is wanting. If there's a part of you that still feels tied down or connected to this person and you still feel like it's worth fighting for, um, there is something that you can do to sort of get things going again, but it's going to start with communication, uh, water signs, so that initiative could be there or needs to be there in order to bring about those possibilities because the world card is things that are still open-ended, okay? So... I'll leave it at that, Water Signs, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thanks again for tuning in and hopefully we'll chat very soon. So thank you and bye for now.